February 22nd, we are here for the fight at the docks, and I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> uh, Izanagi was there last time at the end, and he had a bunch of blood on him, so I'm a little bit nervous that he's either just, like, going crazy and psyching himself up and, like, cutting himself and shit, or he's, like, beating on his own people because he's just pumped, or he's got somebody there that we know that we, we don't want him to have there that he's just beating up and he's got blood all over already. I don't know what he's doing, but kind of excited to find out uh interesting too actually i guess it's not that interesting i feel like episode seven is not that bad to start the the whole thing on are we gonna be here the whole time is it gonna be like the last arc we're gonna be here for like four episodes just the whole time we're gonna be fighting i feel like that could happen i don't know let's we'll see what happens i feel like it all the like and subscribe to me lots of my favorite stick around for discussion let me go with this with series let's get going though with episode seven <laughs> そのライヒントして東京中の不良のトップを集めた。Oh。新宿音速貴族吉祥寺SS。So this sets the standard like initially of how strong this guy actually is and what we're really going to be getting into. If he's taking on all these dudes alone. Alright. No, they show they rolling up actually. In the wheelchairs. Oh, there's that guy. Oh, those two. Bro don't want to be here at all, if we're being honest. Yeah, y'all are gonna be really shocked when more people show up than you thought. All the people they think won't be here are just gonna show up. Yeah, he's not content though. Give it some time. We were able to achieve it. Hmm. Damn, so he's got, got connections from being younger with everyone, yeah. It's such a bad mindset. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is your goal there? Oh, he's Mm -hmm. Rev up them engines, baby. <laughs> we coming. <laughs> this is more exciting, you know? <laughs> How do they get the guys in the wheelchair? Do they just put the... Uh, that's They probably can't roll up. Uh. Mm -hmm. We blacked out, baby. We're going to war. Yeah, we're going to go up through everyone. That's kind of what happened in the Baji fight, right? We have to go up. Mm. He don't get his hands dirty. Look who's on the front lines. <laughs> what if we just do the, the thing wherever you get like your best 10 and our best 10? Is that, what is, is that what the vanguard is? Yeah, but we got the 11th gen leader here, so... Wow. That's an interesting way, you know what? I don't see the purpose on that. It would just start all out, but alright. 
Oh, they're all here, dude. Or did we not bring them? You can't fight, bro. <laughs> oh, the boy. Can't have our leader get killed at the beginning. All right, we'll skip introductions then. Jesus fuck, he didn't even take a stab and throw it there. He's just standing there. Huh. Let's go, Wano. <laughs> this makes it more interesting. Move out, boys. There we go. We cleared the way of one. Move out, brothers. Will you kill our ammo? <laughs> Fuck this guy. And he killed our ammo. <laughs> <laughs> It's a hell of a way to start. Oh, we're kicking ass early. Come on. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> He's throwing dudes and the other dudes. Oh, we got some ballers, bro. It don't matter till we face the big dogs, but all the background guys getting their ass kicked, so that's a W. <laughs> it's a good step. Keep pushing, boys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just hold them off. <laughs> Signature move. Oh, yeah, we also have to work on the strategy of how we get up to him as we're fighting. Just jump over someone. Holy fuck. Fuck, that's a lot. I did not realize it was that much. This just screams to me like they have like a group of dudes who just joined the super team to fucking suck themselves, <laughs> you know? Dude, these guys love the head, but uh, you could pay me as much money as you want. I'm not fucking hitting my head again, so <laughs> He's not doing it. <laughs> this makes it more fun. There's more people for me to fight. Mm. I would never lose like you. Holy fuck, dude. He's a dog. <laughs> you guys are taking too long. I gotta fuck some people up. I just, he's got to warm up. Uh oh. Is it just instant dominance, though? Yeah. Holy fuck. Just set an example, right? And morale instantly for everyone's down. We're beating up on the weaklings, and we just lost one of our top dogs. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> all right, continue, guys. Yep, that's all he was doing. Just beats everyone here, dude. Kids diffy. <laughs> and they respect you for it. All right, good. Came to your senses. Mm. Uh oh. Yeah, this was this was meant to happen. Mm. 
I like it. Everybody's got like their person that they need to fight for reasons. No. This is part of my job. お前は。エマちゃんが死ぬことを知ってたのかよ。ああ。あ、こうそうしたくないんじゃないのか。トーマンに裏切り者がいるって。どうして教えてくれたんだ。本当は。もう。話すことはね。<laughs> We're in the middle of it, so it doesn't really matter if I want to be here or not. <laughs> That's the vibe I'm getting. He's fighting for us. He is. There's probably other reason, but I'm not understanding why. That's true, we are in the middle of the battle. まず、ポスト。ポスト。あの、ええ、ね、いつまで。赤根に断ってんだ。ほう。ブラックドラゴン再建。てめえは何をした?腐れてただけだろ。認めるよ。俺がブラックドラゴンを腐らせた。そう、そう、ライトだ。I <笑> Playing more into acceptance. The war we go. The battle begins. We we go charging right in, and and it's pretty fun. <laughs> I'm actually enjoying myself quite a bit while watching it. Um, development story stuff. I feel like there's not much I really even care to say. <laughs> like there it just isn't. I feel like everything's been kind of presented to us and is already. Uh, in our face already and we're just going with emotions uh, at this point the only thing that we do really introduce that i feel is is different unique or like really new uh that i i care to mention i guess would be at the end uh with our two fighting and then them keep bringing up akane is the name that they keep talking about i don't i don't remember if that's a name that we should know if it is i apologize because i do not remember it uh but i don't think it is i feel like i would remember it so I'm assuming early on when they met, which would probably be at some point when they met uh, initially with Mikey's brother was still around and all that, they probably had this other person that goes by that name and they either looked up to them or, or they had something, some sort of relationship together or they had, there was something going on there, right? And, um, and may, maybe not all of them, but maybe specifically Coco had that sort of like connection with this other person and is using Enopi as like a, a replacement is kind of the vibe I'm getting uh, just based on what he said and Enopi's trying to like get that into his head that it's like dude I'm not this other person I'm me like you can't just kind of use me or think that I'm going to act out the same way or do the same things or follow and suit the same way and I'm not going to like maybe it's somebody who was like obedient, obedient to him or maybe it was just somebody who like guided him in this like proper direction but for whatever reason he wants to like lead himself into a different one this time I don't know I, I really don't know like what that would be uh, but they do kind of lead into that so i'm assuming we'll get some some backstory and some things regarding that uh going forward which i'd be pretty cool with uh and i i think that, that would make the most sense is if they kind of wanted to uh do that and really introduce this this sort of stuff to us because his his trading like or his 
acceptance to to move on or like like take the the blow the way that he kind of did uh at the beginning when we all ended up splitting off and what was episode like three or four and then instead now kind of just being like okay i'm content being on their side it's very reminiscent i guess in a way of the baji thing where he had like these motives and these things internally that he really cared for all these people and of course he had no intention of seeing them die or anything and he had like a true motivation and something that he was trying to get behind the whole time so he was acting out of character or acting uh in character i guess and trying to be like he was a part of Valhalla when we were during during that arc uh and he was actually fighting against Toman and doing all these things he had no intention of killing or harming all these people really though uh because his main goal was to get to Kasaki at the end of the day because he could see through everything so is it the same situation here where Coco has like something else maybe it's not exactly what Inupi seems to believe but he might have like the sort of goal or desire this thing that he's trying to do and this person that he's targeting in his best way is to kind of blend in and fit the whole time that feels a little repetitive if we follow the same exact thing it literally could just be as simple as we have this person we thought that it was going to follow suit and do the same exact thing that kind of happened with the Baji thing but instead now he's actually just content being on the side for certain reasons and now we have to either try and drag him out which likely probably won't happen or we're going to have to have a big altercation between uh these two and they're really gonna have to work out whatever it is with one of them probably becoming victorious by the end of it and i'd assume that would make enough sense if we kind of wanted to, to keep following down that route and do something like that um i don't know we'll have to end up seeing where we end up going with that we start off we display the power of Izuna very easily like very early on and we do it by showcasing all these other top gang leaders and stuff that he kind of gathered up and he beat the fucking shit out of here uh and it really makes you see the power difference and really how how strong this guy really is and then we start introducing everybody else that's all our our higher ups within this group that we've all kind of been introduced to for the most part before uh we get to see some sort of relationships and stuff we end up fin figuring out that buddy over here is also friends with Izuna when they were younger so him and Takamichi have that sort of connection but these two also do and that's also why he's kind of dedicated his life and everything to him uh as we figured out before so he's willing to follow him and do absolutely everything Toman pulls up it's pretty badass when they pull up uh, and I really really like it uh, and then we have our confrontation they offer to do a certain sort of duel thing where I guess we fight off one-on-one -on -one at first and then we go all out I don't understand the reason it seems like it makes no sense but it's just a morale thing and whoever wins really gets a boost and that's probably the only reason why uh, we send out a fighter they send out their guy who's very cocky and then Payuk shows up and he's like fuck you I'm just gonna <laughs> absolutely kill you which completely shocked everybody on both sides uh but it gives us a big morale boost to be able to go ahead and do this fight uh kasaki's also hiding up top so we have to get through the big line of enemies and by big line i mean a big line we're outnumbered probably like what like three or four to one here uh it's really bad and we have to get through a fuck ton of people to be able to now and these i i don't like when we do the big uh you're outnumbered type of things because it's like it's boring to watch when you're outnumbering somebody else and you just you know trample over them but it's also not interesting for me personally for us to have a character or have a group that is outnumbered like five to one or whatever like it, we're probably in this situation and then just have a steamroll through like absolutely everything and then we ultimately just get to the big fights that actually matter that we were expecting the entire time like to me i'd rather just like us pull up with the actual like core members of the groups and not like these large vast numbers uh because it, they those characters don't fucking mean anything and it just makes it useless all it, all it really can do is if you want to direct it narratively to a point that you're like our characters are now tired because they had to go through and fight all these people like they're not gonna die or anything to these other guys and you know they're gonna defeat the fucking trash ones and the only one that these these trash backup characters are gonna be able to do the only things is they're gonna be able to hold somebody off maybe so that they can kind of like block them off from getting to somebody or they're not able to kind of get around them because there's too many of them but it just creates like extra obstacles and doesn't make things entertaining like i, I just don't care for it. the entertainment actually came decent uh from us at the beginning here when we actually just started seeing like this and he's just picking them up by the hair and swinging them around and stuff like that's entertaining and that was fun but at a certain point like i don't want to keep seeing that and we got to really get into the fights which is what they're kind of doing but the numbers game thing just doesn't really mean much to me uh they showcase them here they do a really bad job i will say of uh showing you like the levels like how far apart and like uh distance wise like where everybody is like at certain moments the show isn't as like all the way against the back and then the next moment he's like right in the middle of the thing like like 
proving an example in front of everybody that everybody can see, right? Uh, and they they do a, like a pretty poor job at kind of displaying a lot of that stuff. There's plenty of other examples like this. Like we see all these people lined up and then we switch to this and now nobody's in frame and it's only these guys. But it's like, if you look at the frames before, that wasn't a situation that was ever present. It's just like, they do, they do a pretty poor job at really doing it and they showcase all the space that's here. But then later on when we do all it is, is entirely cramped and it looks like a, such a small confined space, uh, which I don't think is, is very good. The fighting animation isn't the worst thing in the world. Like it was okay. Uh, I mean, it's better than, I guess, standard for what we're usually kind of getting here. Um, and I really do, I like this moment where Izuna shows up, though, and he just fucking completely destroys our guy just as, like, a, a way of... One, we already knew how strong he was because of the things that they were trying to display at the beginning, but this reinforces that. But that also allows everybody else, especially in Toman, to be able to see and gives his guys kind of a momentum boost while it stops the one that the other group had. Uh, some backstory a little bit behind why everybody's following and what's going on there. Uh, and then we get into big fight that's kind of kind of start here. Everybody finds their one-on-one -on -one matchups that they have a, a hatred towards somebody else for a certain reason. Uh, and we end up doing that. These scenes are really bad. Uh, in my opinion, I just want to make sure I point them out when we have like close ups of like Takamichi and then we have the fighting in the background because you can tell like in the background that they're just looping the exact same thing and the characters are just doing like the same motion over and over uh, every single time that they do it. And like especially this one, like when you get the whole thing here, like it's a a constant thing that they're doing and it just looks really poor but if you're focusing because they're supposed to be out of focus but make it look like it's still a like, crowded and a bunch of things are going on sure you can do that if you want uh and then we end up you know everybody has their their big moments and then we get the thing that i talked about a little bit too uh with them and their motives and how they're going to kind of act which this is going to be like the bigger fight uh in this i'm assuming i i don't have too much care right now for the takamichi one but we might be able to set that up and make it more interesting a little bit later but i think this is the real key one that they're trying to get into before we end up having our big dogs really really end up stepping up and that's kind of where we're going to end that one there there's not too much i guess really that that goes on there but everybody pushes forward and does their thing and we get to see that we got some dogs in the group <laughs> And it was fun. I enjoyed it for the most part. And I'm just excited to see what happens. I'm going to go watch the eighth episode now and then finally catch up on everything. And then I have to edit for longer than I want to. <laughs> so I'll do that. If you guys like, though, hit the like and subscribe to me. Not to me. Feel free to check out the other video on the channel. Leave me comments with this episode or series. We'll be back for the eighth episode hopefully soon for you. Uh, you guys have a good one, though. Peace.